What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. First of all, before I get into this, I just want to say last night at 2 a.m. I hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. I am so stoked. Thank you all so much. I think I started this year with like 500 and we're already at, I think I started August with 500 I believe and now it's September and we're already at a thousand thank you so much we are one step closer to getting monetized I'm I, I'm beyond I'm beyond elated today I guess this could be a considered a 1000 subscriber special I'm gonna take my Ryan Villapoto character and I'm gonna change it up we're gonna ride as Antonio Cairoli in Supercross 4 and yeah oh my god I cannot believe that that is so cool so Let's change all this here. Man. A thousand subscribers. That's so cool. Okay. So I... In honor... I guess this isn't really a 1,000 subscriber special. This is more of a uh, video idea I had. And in honor of... In honor of... Um, the uh, pro motocross season ending here. I thought, should we make him as a female? <laughs> no, no. Um, um, we're just we're gonna make this man six feet tall. I don't care how tall he is. Um, let's go two, two, two. Don't worry, I will change all this. Two, two, two. He is not. Um, he's from Europe. And he's from Italy. There we go. Um, we're gonna we're gonna change his appearance here. <laughs> he is bald. If you didn't know, I think I'm gonna go with this hairstyle. I think that matches. Or I think which one looks the most like Cairoli here? Um, I think it's I think it's gonna be this one right here. And he's got black hair. I know that. Okay, that that's Cairoli. That actually kind of looks like him, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. So, accessories. What do you mean? Cairoli doesn't doesn't wear all that stuff. Celebrations. Um. Uh, not that I'm gonna use it, but we're gonna wave. No, we're gonna wave the other way because we are gonna be racing uh, Anaheim one in this video. So there we go. Um, let's go presets. 450 wise let's go let's go get a cow uh ktm this right here is perfect wow this is beautiful all right that's all good there so let's go back here let's load up nope oh my god Sorry guys, uh, let me um, close out of this real quick. I, I'm just so excited, can't you tell? Um, so I gotta close out of this real quick. Because I have not started career mode. Maybe I will with Cairoli, I don't know. I don't know, take Antonio Cairoli through the career. That'd be, that'd be so cool. Um, so let me close out of this and then we will come back. Um, to Anaheim 1. Angel Stadium, Anaheim, California. Listen to that crowd. They're screaming just one name. Nope, that's not Kyrie there. Um, select. But we're actually going to close out of this, so. Exit. Yes. One day we will do 250 presets. Um, yeah, but comment down below if you want to see an Antonio Kyrie career. I know I got to do, um,. I know I want to do a, um, um, a Villapoto thing, like a Villapoto, oh, that looks exactly like Cairoli there, that's awesome, uh, I, I do know, I do want to do a, uh, Villapoto multiplayer race, and maybe I'll do a Cairoli multiplayer race too, uh, just let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below. Remember, I do play this game too, so, yeah, I'm going to make, 
I'm gonna I have a video soon coming out of what's it called uh, just of the Supercross video game series in general I want to talk a little bit about that because there is a rumor out there about Supercross 6 so I'm gonna come out with that video soon here we go though this is what we want to see Antonio Cairoli there he is in all his glory I probably should have changed that to white that's okay though this is Antonio Cairoli this is a1 here we go are you ready let's drop the gate oh what a start oh Barsha oh Osborne oh Bowers Barsha got the whole shot see you to rule a second hey just like they were in real life Anaheim one there's Webb my teammate right there um if you want to see other riders in this I can do other riders uh, if I were to do Stewart I would have to go to Supercross 2 or 1 um, I can do Dungey obviously I've done Villapoto so if you want to see other if you want to see other legends of the sport like Hurlings um, I can just go into creator uh, the rider customization and just make other rider um, and also if you want to see Chad Reed in Supercross 5 I can do that too if you want to see any rider you want to see me ride as in this game uh, if it's possible I will go ride as him and we are taking the lead here from Barsha look at this look at this we're gonna throw a massive whip just like Hangtown right here Woo! hopefully somebody got a photo of that here we go oh boy yeah Cairoli I want to talk about Cairoli in general because I feel like I mean he's a nine time world champion uh, in in uh, his series down there in MXGP it sounds like the last time we're gonna see him ever is MX and Nations here in a few weeks which that'll be I, like I said in my last video my motocross track video I did get an invite to that I'm not sure if I'm gonna go I probably should go uh, but if I'm gonna go I'm gonna go work it look at this look at this, this is totally a, dude, dude this is working out so much better than I thought like I did not think this was gonna come out well at all and it sure is man it looks exactly like Cairoli this is so cool Antonio Cairoli 2-2-2 two, two, two. dude if you were to tell me right now if you were to tell me right now uh, that this is just that uh, the milestone people went and put Cairoli in this game and I've just picked his character I would have totally believed you right now because I did such a damn good job on this model right here uh, I do have plans to do Dungey as well the only problem with Dungey is that he doesn't wear Thor gear so I'll probably have to do a private tier KTM for that one um, we can I actually Supercross 5 wise I'm doing this in Supercross 4 because I, I really like Supercross 4 like I don't know about you guys I know the last two in the series for Supercross games I've gotten a bad rap Supercross 4 is actually really fun here um, we are pulling away like crazy right here and plus I just thought of this and I thought this gear right here this specific gear would be awesome we are running away from these guys uh, I was thinking we could do uh, we could do Carmichael and Supercross 5 that'd be cool um, we can do McGrath um, I'm trying to think of other riders we could do here we could do Jeremy Martin in this game on a 450 that'd be cool too uh, we can do a lot of different riders like the options are limitless there's no limit on our options here so here as Antonio Cairoli we are just pulling away here how about that Kyle Cunningham second look at our gap look, look at that you see how far up oh, Barsha just died 
you see how far a gap is? My question is, if Cairoli came here and actually raced, would he win? Would he actually win? Like, that's that's actually a question I have. So, if Cairoli actually raced Supercross in the U.S., would he be doing this right now? I don't think so. But still, it'd be interesting. Like, it was interesting to see him in outdoors this year. And be interesting to see him in Supercross. But we saw what we did in Paris, what he did in Paris Supercross last year. Actually, I believe <laughs> I uploaded a video of him taking out Brayton, and I believe it is my most popular video. Um, anyway. We're just out here rolling. Alright, 14 minutes to go, plus one lap. This is actually really fun. Woo! We got a little kick there. Seeing Cerullo and Webb, second and third. We have a massive gap. We don't have to worry about any of that. I do want to... I just want to say... This Jeffrey Hurlings thing is Jeffrey Hurlings right now is making some headlines in the motocross industry. Don't worry, I'm in the industry too. Like, I get a lot of crap for that comment about, oh, I'm in the industry. I actually am. Like, I got some pretty important people following me. Like, and the fact that I was working for MX Sports at Paula 2, like, there's some pretty important people on my side right now and I mean when you're good friends with when Davey Coombs follows you I think you're locked in so yeah I've been he hearing a lot of rumors right now um, if you don't know this has nothing to do with Kai Rowley, but um, and I'll bring it up in another video I have planned if you don't know a few weeks ago I believe I think it was like Bud's Creek or Unadilla week. Um, there was rumors that Star Yamaha completely closed off their facility to everybody. The only people that were allowed was a mechanic, a rider, and Bobby Reagan, who um, runs that Star Yamaha team. That was it. So there was a bunch of rumors. Oh, who could it be? Who could it be? A lot of people thought it was that that, uh, Spa that Spanish kid that came over, Guillaume Ferez, however you pronounce his name. I, I didn't believe that for one second. And now, it is coming out that Hurlings might race 2023 outdoors for Star Yamaha. If that is the case, that will break the internet. That will actually break Twitter. Like, Twitter will not be running anymore if that's the case. Um, and if, if if that is true, if he is racing, uh, Chase Sexton doesn't have a chance in hell of winning that title. Um, because Hurlings will win every single title he enters without getting hurt. So yeah, um, man, just to think that we started off this, this, this 2022 championship with Kai Rowley and we ended it with a great battle that was just crazy like does this not look like Cairoli right here this looks exactly like Antonio Cairoli like this is the gear he would be wearing too he would wear Alpine Stars gear I don't know about the neck brace I completely forgot to change that like I said I was so excited at the beginning of this I forgot to change that but still this is Antonio Cairoli right here this is so cool Um, anyway, 11 minutes to go here. We're going to try to catch lappers. Look at the gap. Wow. We have a 17 second gap right now. I actually, uh, this season had a chance to meet Antonio Cairoli. And unfortunately, I did not take that chance. Um, I was at Elsinore. Uh, Lake Elsinore Motorsports Park 
you probably see it in videos uh, you definitely see it on Instagram if you're on there um, it is about five minutes down the street from my house so whenever pro day is going on like uh, Supercross last year the last two years for Supercross training there's a Supercross track there right as you're entering the gate so what I would do is um, this is pre driver's license me by the way what I would do is I would uh, uh, just sit there along the fence line and watch these guys train Supercross um, and and for outdoors they would ride the main main motocross track like the main one which that's a it's a pretty cool track I don't know how the hell we got a national by the way if you don't know Elsinore hosted a national in 2012 and 2013 I don't know how the hell that happened but it did so um, anyway my point is I was out there um, and Cairoli was there which I think this is the week before Hangtown uh, like the the Wednesday before Hangtown uh, I was out there and got a photo with Jet Lawrence this is where I met Jet Lawrence for the first time um, got a photo with Jet watch these guys ride and watch Cairoli ride and actually funny story here um, I so there's a turn that's really close to the fence line and you can't get roosted in it so what I was doing was I was lining myself up to get roosted by Cairoli and as I'm doing this my my friend Josh Josh Moseman pulls up and starts talking to me and we start talking about Cairoli and the whole time I'm just adjusting myself every single time he comes by and eventually when I was talking to him I did get roosted so I've been roosted by Antonio Cairoli um, that'll be on my resume uh, in the industry when it says what are your greatest accomplishments? One of them will be, well, I've been roosted by Antonio Cairoli, and that's just so special to me. Um, and yeah, um, so anyway, <laughs> I was there, and I got my photo with Jet, and I was walking back to my truck, and <clears throat> he was right, like, Cairoli was like, get ready to leave, right? He's all in his normal clothes and everything. Oh my god. I'm so stuffed up. Anyway, uh, I was like, oh, how cool would that be to get a photo with him while he's over here? But uh, my friend Josh offered me a ride back to the truck, so I had to take that right there. So unfortunately, didn't get to meet him while he was here, but got to see him ride not once, but like I, I got to see him ride like three times, technically twice, because I went to the opener at Paula, and then... Went to the opener at Paula, we saw him there, and then saw him the week of Hangtown. I think I went back the next week, and he was there too, but didn't really get to watch him ride. I was talking to a lot of people. But yeah, um, I got roosted by Antonio Cairoli. That's the greatest accomplishment in my lifetime. Um, another one is, so as you may know, I got to work the Paula National uh the fi finale uh, this this past weekend um, and what ended up happening was so I I got a little bit heat exhaustion I'm not gonna lie I, I think I talked about this in my Paula race recap but I'm gonna talk about it now because we have six minutes left and yeah I want to tell some stories here while I'm here um, so I went I had some heat exhaustion so I had to watch 250 Moto 2 from the MX sports truck they were gracious enough to let me sit in there and we had a TV there so I watched the second moto there uh, watched Joe Shimoda absolutely dominate the second moto but then I watched a 450 moto too from there too but the last five minutes I actually uh, this was in the plan because I had to go down there anyway to collect transponders which I definitely did not do I mean I'll get better at this, okay? I'll get better at this. I'm not... I I did my main job, basically. Which was check transponders. Anyway, I only down there the last five minutes uh, to the podium because as... When you have credentials, uh, my pass says official all access. And when you have that pass, you don't get yelled at when you walk onto the track, which, by the way, dream come true to walk on that track. Anyway... 
to walk on a national a track while these guys were racing and not get kicked off. Anyway, so I went down there and I think it was like two laps to go when I went down there. And so I had this incredible video of Tomac coming over the finish line winning the championship and then watching him celebrate the 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 blue 450 outdoor uh, champion shirts that you all saw them wearing I was just sitting there with a uh, fellow co-worker of mine who were really good friends and I just randomly said that'd be so cool to have one of those shirts and he's like okay what's your shirt size I, was, I told him he's like okay we'll try to get one for you and then I'm back at the truck uh, so I ended up leaving because it got hot but I didn't leave that podium area until I shook the top three's hand so yeah just said congratulations to everybody then I left and later uh, <laughs> that uh, my friend comes back with the championship shirt and I was like oh cool he got one that's cool so cool but then later I learned wait a second you have to get you have to uh, that has to go through Star Yamaha so those championship shirts that they handed out to everybody after the race there that you all saw Tomac and his family and his team wear uh, yeah they don't just hand that out to everybody apparently so your boy just got probably the rarest shirt and the only shirt that's more rare than that is the Chase Sexton ones they wore so yeah um, your boy has a Eli Tomac out 450 outdoor championship shirt that probably only people associated with Eli Tomac only have and in no way am I associated with Eli Tomac and I got one so that's that's so cool thank you to Star Yamaha for that and please sign Jeffrey Hurlings next year so I can get a Jeffrey Hurlings championship shirt anyway um, three minutes left here in this race as you can see we've gotten the lappers Man, I can't get over how great this Cairoli setup is right now so yeah um that 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 season I, I have to tell you I couldn't go to a supercross this year uh, because of health issues and I'm not gonna get into that because it's not who I am uh, I I couldn't go to a supercross this year because of health issues and I was pissed like you guys don't know I was pissed not to go to Supercross this year but honestly with what I got to do for outdoors go to the opener watch Cairoli ride uh, go to Millville oh shit <laughs> go to Millville and then go to the finale and be that close to the action I don't mind like we'll be back for 2023 I, I I'm in the works to try to go to a one for 2023 because I have not been um, like I said I got I got an invite to to Red Bud but unfortunately it's too short notice what is it like in two weeks uh, MX and Nations I got that invite but unfortunately it's just too short notice man like what is it two weeks till the race and I, I just don't have the funds to go right now but I'm gonna save up the funds to go to A1 and then I'm gonna um, my birthday is around San Diego. Well, one of my birthdays is around San Diego. Don't ask how I have two birthdays. It's a long story. Um, and then, yeah, and then, honestly, I might end up working A1, which I don't, I don't mind. Any chance I get to go to these races, I'm going to go, and I'm gonna, if I'm going to get paid on top of it, uh, somebody, somebody, Somebody in my family said it this way. Why would you go pay 50 bucks to go sit up in the crowded stands when you can get paid to stand on the track and be close to the riders? Thank you, Dad, because that was, that's amazing. That's an amazing idea. So, yeah, um, even if I don't work, I'm going to some of these. So, and will I get the all-access pass? Of course not, unless I'm working. Um, oh look who it is, Ken Roxon. Um, I just watched, um, well I, I've known about this for a while. Um, 
Should I, should I bust? Should, I'm gonna ride next to rocks in here, and I'm gonna recreate what happened in Hangtown this year because um, at Hangtown this year, uh, remember Cairo really pulled that whole shot through that gnarly whip, gnarly whip in front of Ken Rocks, and he did that on purpose. And of course, there was a a YouTube short. There we go. <laughs> there was a YouTube short that said, "Oh, Cairo is dirty." F off. Fuck off with that shit. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, oh, over the bars. There's rocks and right there. Oh, we can do it again. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. And if I can work here. Um, Got to email Davey Coombs about possibly going to Racer X as well. That'd be... That'd be so cool. That'd be like a dream come true. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, two laps to go here. This has been a dominant race. I honestly did not expect to win this big. Um, the 222 Antonio Cairoli out here living it up at A1. Uh, I know I did promise the Villapoto video. Uh, I'm still going to do that. Don't worry. Um, just... I had this video idea and just had to do it. Um, yeah, so we have one more lap to go here. We're going to show off, showboat, do whatever we want here. I do not care. Big whip over the finish line. Here we go, showboating time. Nose dive it. Oh, we were revved out there. There is a fat, fast line here. I just don't care to do it right now. Woo! Here we go. Antonio Cairoli here. Out here living life at Anaheim 1. Woo! Dude, we really could just roll everything and be completely fine and still win this. Here we go. Show off to the crowd. Antonio Cairoli is about to win Anaheim 1. This is the coolest thing. Here we go. Oh, little bit short there. Big whip there for Cairoli. Here we go. He's about to point to the stand. Revving it up for his mechanic. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Antonio Cairoli. Oh, he didn't do it. No. Anyway, let's wait for Ralph here. Let me drink my coffee here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I will come out with more videos like this. If you want me to ride as a certain rider that's not in this game, leave it down below or in any of the Supercross game. Uh, just know if I ha if you request James Stewart, that's going to have to be in Supercross 2. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.